Hi, and welcome to the Mentor and Engineer. In this video, we're going to dive a little bit more into ladder logic, and we're going to talk about uh, different combinations of switches. So the first one is an AND switch. All right, this is two or more switches that all the conditions have to be met to turn the function on. So let's imagine we have a lawnmower, and we go to start it, and we turn the key, uh, but we also want to make sure that we're not using the starter motor to move the lawnmower forward or turn the, the, bla the, the, um, <clears throat> the blades. So what we're going to say is I'm going to need two switches and the first one is going to be the clutch. All right, I'm going to have to push a you know, foot pedal or hold a button down that disengages the clutch um, while we do um, start. All right, and then I'm going to have it turn on a motor. All right, now chances are there's going to be a relay in there or a, a starter coil just to make sure that uh, we're not pulling too much current through here. But for this, just want to give a, 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 a good clean example of an AND function. Okay, so what about an OR function? Uh, if we're thinking about our car, when we open up the door, um, we have a dome light. So if we have a, a two-doored car, uh, we want, uh, let's just say door one. If we turn that on, or we have door two, uh, that can turn it on. All right, so if either of those two doors turn it on, uh, we have that. We could have, you know, 12 doors here if we have a 12 doored car. Uh, and that's going to turn on our dome light. All right, that's what's known as an OR function. All right, so either this one or this one or any of the, the 11 or 10 that, that, pat, that come past that, come after that, uh, could all be daisy chained together to do that. All right, let's talk about uh, combining the OR and the AND so we can have both. Uh, if we wanted to be more specific on our circuit here, we can have uh, door one or door two. All right, but I want the key switch to be in the on, uh, yeah, the on position to do that. So key on. All right, so door one or door two, and my key has to be in a certain position to do that. And I can have multiple positions that the key would be on. In. Okay, so that's an, uh, an and and an or. Yes, you have to say it twice. And, and, or. Uh, or you can say, oops, or and, and, which uh, just sounds just as silly as, as it does there. Okay, now let's say that we have, um, we want something to not be on. Uh, in a car, if you notice that your brake pedal, uh, the lights go on as soon as you move that brake pedal just a smidge out, uh, out of the, uh, the resting position. And what happens is, is that the lever of the brake hits a switch and pushes it in. So that is a normally closed switch that's being held closed naturally. All right, so the way we would make that in our system is it's a normally closed, and it's holding on the brake lights and whatever that switch does. Um, so. Uh, when it's when it's not being or when it's in use, uh, it's going to be normally closed and it's going to light that up. All right, so that is a not command. All right, and you get the impression that there are so many. There's an infinite number of ways you can combine all these together to do whatever you want. Now let me share two more with you here. I got to clean up my board real quick, and those are latch and reset. Okay, so a latching function is a function that um, essentially you don't want to be hitting a push button, for example, or for forever. So in a case of a uh, motor in an industrial setting, maybe you've got a three-phase 4AD motor, uh, and you, have, uh, you want to go over and push a button to start it and push a button to stop it. And you have those labeled start and stop. Okay, so... I don't want to be holding that start button there forever. Well, what happens in that box? Okay, so here's what happens. 
you walk up to that box and it's got um, a relay in there. And the first thing that you'll know is you have a, a push button switch that operates uh, our first relay, and that's C1. All right, so as long as I hold that button closed, C1's gonna be on, the pump, the motor's gonna be on, and it's gonna be doing whatever it does. But as soon as I pull it off, that switch, up, that switch will open, and C1 will go off. So how we do this is we, we trick it, essentially, into thinking that somebody's pushing that by adding, taking the first coil of that motor and using that coil to hold the motor back on. So now we have, I switched it on, C1 comes on, hey, this coil energizes, so now I can de-energize this, I can take my finger off the button, and it'll still make a path to keep C1 on. But what if I want to stop it? Uh, so I've got my my latch function here, but I have no way to stop it. Well, my e-stop is a button, and I'm going to wire it so that as long as I'm not pushing it, or if it's a latching type uh, that is out, it's going to be a normally closed. So I'm going to take this off right here. I'm going to put a normally closed right there, and that's going to be my stop. And start. Okay. So that's how I do it. I'm latching with C1, and I'm using my stop to interrupt that latch uh, to stop the motor. Okay, so the motor, generally you, you don't want to drive the motor with C1. You want to use that primary for, for the latching. Um, but my other coil of C1 is going to actually run C2. Now this is a bigger, heftier relay. It may not even be in the same control box. Probably won't be if you're controlling a large motor. Um, this C2 is probably going to have, um, you know, if it's a 480 uh, three phase, it's probably going to have a 20, 120 volt contact here. So there's a chance that instead of running 12 volts here, you might be running 120 volt AC through this contact here, which in this case, both of these probably aren't going to be in this box. All right. So I'm not going to draw C2 because generally um, the contact side of that is not uh, in the control panel and it's not part of the control logic. So it's just kind of left out. Uh, you'll see it in a bigger schematic of how this all wires into uh, the, the building uh, system voltage. All right, well that's uh, what we wanted to discuss for today. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye.